What's up guys, this is Technocube and you are watching Mobile Computing Fundamentals. Well, in the previous session you had seen evolution of wireless data. You had seen 1G, 2G, 3G and 4G. And what are the technologies and what are the data rates and more precisely where exactly they are, the, these G connections are using, right? Well, in this session we will start with mobile computing, okay, exact mobile computing. We will see its definition, what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages behind, behind mobile computing. Okay, so let's get started. So I'll write here the definition of mobile computing. So the mobile computing, it, it is said as, it defined as, actually I had taken some, I had taken this, you know, a two or three lines from a Wikipedia or somewhere from the blog. So this is not my definition, but you can relate it. Okay, so it is defined as a computing environment environment over physical mobility over physical mobility so it is defined as computing environment over a physical mobility by means of that what do you mean by computing environment you can understand that this technology this mobile computing technology it is you know more of wireless network or more precisely it is cellular network but it is a wireless network right now here the devices you remember this the devices are not like fixed desktop computers the devices are more of portable devices which can be taken from one location to another location so it can be your laptop it can be your tablets it can be your mobile devices it can be your all kind of handheld devices taken from palm toms to your ebooks or kindle devices okay even i can talk about iot devices okay so all those portable devices when you use somehow the computing things in those you know those devices it relates that it is nothing but a computing environment and how computing environment over a physical mobility which means you can use or you can compute those things from one location or to the other location you can move from one location to another location by computing this okay so that it means so now the user of a mobile computing environment will be able to access data and information or a logical object from any device in any network while on a move so it says that okay so even if you are at a location you can move while doing your computing environment from one location to another location that's the thing okay so i'll write here the user the user of mobile computing the user of mobile computing environment will be able to access will be able to Access data or information uh, from any device. It can be any device, okay? It can be palm top, ebook e reader, or anything. Uh, device in any network or any location while on a move. Okay, that's the intention of mobile computing. Now, if we look about, uh, uh, if we look about the advantages of this, then you see the first advantage that come and exist in our mind is nothing but the availability. You see, this is very important point here, availability. Now, availability which means it is nothing but the services that you are using in the mobile or in the computing environment of mobile, the services which you are using, they are 24 cross 7 available to you, okay? So even if you are at a very worst location, you can still use that. Even if you are at a very posh location, you can still use it, okay? So that's the thing. So the system and its services are available, completely available to you. And that's why you can use that service anywhere in the network or anywhere at the location. So I'll precisely write here that as the system and its services are available to you on the go, you can use it anywhere or or at any or at any time so there is no constraint at all to use it okay as it is wireless network you can access it anywhere as it is wireless network they are completely available to you there is no restrictions on that and that's why you know it's the first advantage of the mobile computing the second advantage is it can it uh, there is a location flexibility which is also important there is a location flexibility 
so it is not like that if you are at new if you are at new york and if you are using some service that is whatsapp then there is no possibility that uh, if you are at london you cannot use whatsapp in the same environment you can use it right until and unless there is some provision of restriction on whatsapp environment then that, then there might be a possibility that that you cannot use that service but then there is alternative you can use sms but your service is not going to be stopped there right so there is no location flexibility on using the uh, using the internet services or the mobile services it's like that so as it is uses portable devices you use of portable device uh, as it is uses portable device allowed it allowed and also there is there is this there is this provision too as you are using portable devices then you can also uh, use something called as um, a, a, a work called as outsourcing so let's say you are at new delhi and your your working environment or the, your company is in london then but you don't want to go to london right you want to work the same thing in new delhi in your home right you can do with the help of this location flexibility as the same services which which you if you move to london then you can use the same services even if you are at new delhi you can use the same services that's why you can do the same work uh, from the london environment or the london state to your new delhi which i means is use of portable devices it allowed many employee to continue their work to continue to continue their to continue their work regardless regardless of the location so there is no location restrictions okay so if you don't want to go to london and if you work and if you want to work at new delhi in your home you can just ask to your london office and it, they will give you the work and you can precisely do your work from from delhi and you can you know update that work environment to your london office so there is no location restrictions you can use the same services in london you can use the same services in new delhi so there is there is this advantage to location flexibility uh, then there is something called as increased productivity uh, increased productivity which means which means nothing but as the services is on go you know this availability as you can see the services are on go which means all services are like in the cloud a cloud is on go on demand you can you, you can access anywhere anywhere in the location anywhere at the time right so this is something like that so by means of increased productivity it means as all the services are available to you at any time you can you can you can make a high engagement uh, high engagement on a productivity like you can create an application right you can create a website or you can create uh, somehow like production software or something like that which can be used you know to increase your productivity by means is as mobile computing I mean abbreviated as MC it allows to be available available to all time there are higher engagement rates engagement rates engagement rates and productivity for example now uh, such as such as such as application develop in android or connectivity using phone and it connected connectivity using phone by means is you are creating as you can see as mobile computing allows you that sub service is going to be uh, you know accesses uh, all time then you can you you can use a high engagement rates by creating an android application and you can use uh, you know phone to access it or maybe an internet service would be um, efficient to use it right so it can be accessed by your computer it can be accessed by your phone so you create as the services is available to you you create some android application by which you can access it anywhere so in that way it is increasing your productivity right so any user in 24 cross 7 it can access your it can access your application by which means you are you are making your engagement rates or productivity rates higher you can you, you can you can outsource it right 
you, you are getting some finance from that you you are understanding this i don't know you are understanding or not but let me let me make you an explanation on that right you see the services here in mobile computing are accessed in 24 cross 7 it is available to you now you can what you can do you create an application you create something something in product, production software or something like that you create something which is available to the user 24 cross 7 now user even as the services your services is 24 cross 7 available to the user now user can access anywhere any location any time by which means you can you are increasing your engagement rates and productivity which means again you are financially you know getting higher and higher and higher and that way it is you you know increasing your productivity you getting it okay so the fourth point which is gives you is cost effective now cost effective is means as employee you see it is easy as employee can work from from their from their home regardless of regardless of any company location the same example of new delhi in london london as employee can work from their home regardless of their any company location now what it what employee needs an employee needs employee needs only uh, your portable de device portable device and and internet service so there is only two things it needs it needs a portable device and internet service by means they, they, it doesn't need anything else so it is cost effective that's why mobile computing is beneficial now these are some of the advantage of uh, you know the mobile computing the rest is the disadvantage disadvantage is disadvantage is the first disadvantage is there is a problem called as it is connectivity issue connectivity issue is because of so it says there might be chances that some area is some area is not covered by your transmitter by your transmitter and because of that reason and because of that reason that area is having connection issues something like that okay so let's say in an area let me let me uh, point it out here let me say i have an area here this is an area and uh, let me draw a tower here this is my oh i'm so sorry this is my first tower this is my second tower and this is my third tower and let's say these dots uh, let me uh, let me increase the size okay so let's say these are these dots are users okay so right now these are these are the users these are maybe 10 or 12 users you're having three antennas here three antennas which is good it gives you a good signal strength and you are accessing your you know mobile internet services which is good right now but as you can see only three antennas are available to you now if the user are going to be increased in a larger extent there is a high amount of mass in a particular cell or in a particular area this is actually area uh, right here this is an area or area or it is known as cell so you see if if the user are going to be in larger extent then somehow it is not possible to give a good signal strength or a good connection here because as the antenna are only three and the users are are coming in a higher extent so this is going to be a problem here and because of that reason some cells or some area are having good connection because they have less users and uh, and uh, more number of antennas but some areas are having are having uh, less number of or or you can say the higher number of users and less number of antennas so two cases are available okay so this is the this is the problem and this is going to be a solution so I'm going to derive here this is antenna antenna and then antenna but then there are less number of user okay so here less number of user I'll write here so less number of user and higher number of 
of antennas so I'll write here as the less number of users and uh, higher number of antennas which will gives you good connection right so this is this is it it gives you good connection however when I say here here let's I mean larger number of users, larger number of users and less number of antennas it gives you um, worst connection okay so this is the problem here okay so uh, by which means is if you're having large number of users and less number of antennas then you're having worse connection which is not good right this is the problem here so I will also label it so this is uh, where is it yeah so this is your this is going to be your antenna here this is antenna and these dots these dots are let me just make it is this is your users okay now you get it there is a connection connectivity problem and that's why we had written that the first disadvantage is connectivity issue uh, which is which is nothing but your there, there is this problem if you're having larger number of users but having less number of antennas then there is a worst connection and if you're having an area or a cell that having uh, less number of users but having higher number of antennas then you're having good connection also let me label it that this is a kind of cell or area we, we call it as cell but you can also call it as area okay you remember this okay so the having the first can first disadvantage is connectivity issue the second disadvantage is and make sure that connective issue connectivity issue is doesn't only have this problem and having many problems such as handoff or handover problem so uh, these are also some of the problems exist in the connectivity issues you will understand it okay so the second thing is we have a power consumption problem power consumption which means is uh, you know uh, a power consumption it's something like this let me again give you a diagram let me create a new one and new one says uh, let's say let me uh, diagrammatically think about it that if in the area so let's say this is your area let me make it a big one okay so this is your antenna this is your antenna here and you are here somewhere here okay so it says that if you are very near to the antenna if you are very near to the antenna then there then the transmitter then this is your transmitter actually this is your transmitter okay your transmitter needs lesser amount of power but you are moving and you have you are moving and you are moving continuously okay and you are right now here then you see there is a uh, that you are very distant to from this antenna then this antenna needs a larger amount of power okay it needs a larger amount of power to send the signal here the lesser amount of power to send the signal so I will again write it that if you are near to the antenna then lesser power okay and lesser power however however if if you are very far from the antenna then you need then actually then your transmitter then your then your transmitter needs higher amount of power higher amount of power that's the problem here okay so you please remember this this is your second problem so the problem is I will again write here that the, the same thing I'll write okay I'll just copy it I'll just copy it and I will paste it over here okay so this is the problem so again there is also one more problem and the problem is that your mobile device 
which is a handheld device it needs charging at a constant rate so you can use uh, four hours uh, you know you're using your device then again your battery is going to be discharged then again you need to charge it so again there is a problem of power consumption right this is the second problem and the third problem relates to something called as security concern okay there is a problem called as security concern now it deals with you know various kinds of wireless network attacks wireless attacks on the mobile the other thing is there is a problem called as cia there is a confidentiality integrity and authentication problem so i'll again write here confi confidentiality confidentiality sorry for my spelling mistake <laughs> that's okay confidentiality then there is integrity integrity and authentic authentication there is a problem of authentication so you can write about these things but i will take this concept this complete concept in my next session that is actually your topic that is security concern on mobile computing so we'll see different types of things uh, in our later sessions so these are the three problem that exist in the you know mobile computing i hope you like it thank you so much for listening to me okay and if you haven't subscribed my channel i insist you to please subscribe it thank you so much